click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, with this video we are going to start with a new chapter for our subject digital image processing. The chapter is titled representation and description. Up till now in this subject, after introducing to what exactly this processing for digital image is and then looking after the fundamentals of digital image, we have covered several fundamental steps like image enhancement, image restoration. We have also gone through the color image processing, then image compression we have seen, the morphological image processing and in the previous chapter, we have gone through the understanding of image segmentation. Let us start this chapter with the first topic that is titled boundary following. So here we can start with our topic boundary following to understand what exactly the representation and description with respect to the objects after image segmentation are there. So let us have a preview here after an image has been segmented as per the procedures the techniques we have gone through in last chapter. So we obtain certain regions into the image sample. So these regions are available to us for further description and representation. The resulting aggregate of the segmented pixels thus obtained usually is represented and described in the form of is suitable for the further computer processing techniques that we shall be definitely discussing. So basically to talk about representation of a region it involves two choices. The first choice is we can represent the region in terms of its external characteristics that are with respect to the boundary or the second choice we have that is we can represent it in terms of its internal characteristics that is with refer to the pixels comprising the region. With these two choices to us choosing a representation scheme however is the only part of the task of making the data useful to a computer. So the next task is to describe the region based on the chosen representation. Hence these two terms we have taken together as the chapter title. So for example, a region may be represented by its boundary and the boundary described by the features such as we can have the example of length, the orientation of the straight line joining its extreme points and the number of concavities in the boundary. An external representation is chosen when the primary focus is on the shape characteristics and an internal representation that is the second choice is selected when the primary focus is on to the regional properties. For example, we can talk about the color and texture with respect to the concerned region. Sometimes it may be also necessary to use both types of these representation schemes. In either the case, the features selected as the descriptors should be as insensitive as possible to the variations into the size, translation and rotation. Now let us address to the first term that is representation with respect to the regions that we obtain as a result of segmentation process. So the segmentation techniques yield the raw data in the form of pixels along a boundary or pixels contained in a region. Although these data sometimes are used directly to obtain the descriptors as in the determination of the texture of the region, the standard practice is to use the schemes that compact the data into the representations that are considerably more useful in the computation of the descriptors. Now we shall exactly start with our first topic of this chapter that is boundary following. Several of such algorithms require that the points into the boundary of a region be ordered in a clockwise manner or in the anti-clockwise or we can say the counter-clockwise direction. Consequently, we begin by introducing a boundary following algorithm here in this video whose output is an ordered sequence of points. So see here, it was the earlier scenario where the input to the processing technique was a digital image and output was of course digital image only. So here after chapter number 10, we are switched to the scenario where the output is in terms of certain attributes, certain parameters. So here 
the output will be actually a ordered sequence of points so here we assume that the first assumption we can make here that we are working with the binary images in which the object and the background points are labeled either 1 or 0 respectively and we can go for the second assumption that the images are padded with a border of zeros to eliminate the possibility of an object merging with the image border so for convenience we shall be limiting to the single regions for discussion purpose now the approach of boundary following is extended to multiple disjoint regions also by the processing the regions individually so let us start with we can say that given a binary region that we can denote by capital r or its particular boundary if it is given an algorithm of the following the border of capital r or the given boundary consists of the steps as follows so the very first step we can start with so let the starting point b0 be the uppermost leftmost point into the image sample that is labeled as 1 we can denote by c0 the west neighbor of this b0 clearly this c0 always is a background point examining the eight neighbors of this b0 starting at the c0 as said and proceeding into the clockwise direction we must go now let b1 denotes the first neighbor that is encountered whose value is equal to 1 and let c1 be the background point that is immediately proceeding the b1 into the sequence so now we have to store the locations of this b0 and b1 for the use into the step number 5 that will be coming into the subsequent steps here so after this much of step we are covered we can go for the second step here we let b is equal to b1 and c is equal to c1 for convenience purpose and then at the step number 3 we let the eight neighbors of b starting at c and proceeding into the clockwise direction be denoted by serially n1 n2 up to n8 now we have to find the first n sub x k labeled one there now at the step number 4 we let b is equal to n sub x k and c is equal to n sub x k minus 1 now at the last step that is step number 5 we have to repeat the step number 3 and 4 that we have just seen until b is equal to b0 and the next boundary point is found to be b1 the sequence of the b points found when the algorithm steps constitutes the set of ordered boundary points so after these many steps we can mark one note here that c into the step number four always is a background point because n sub x k is the first one valued point found into the clockwise scanning or clockwise direction we can say so this algorithm that we have seen sometimes is also referred to as more boundary tracking algorithm or simply the title we have given boundary following the stopping rule into the last step that is step number 5 of this algorithm frequently is found stated incorrectly into the literature as stopping first time that b0 is encountered again so this can lead to errorless result now let us visualize one figure the figure shows the first few steps of the boundary following algorithm that we have just seen so it is easily verified that continuing with this procedure right from step number 1 to 5 will yield the correct boundary that we can show into the figure e the last figure whose points are a clockwise order sequence that is our expected output so this is the title to the figure we have so it is illustration of the first few steps of the boundary following algorithm and here the point to be processed next is labeled into the black the point yet to be processed are in gray colors and the points that are found by the algorithm are labeled as gray sequences so here we have the figure a here you can count the number of ones with respect to the locations you can see where we have total 
seven columns and seven rows so a square dimensional image segment is selected as a binary input here now this is figure number b following to the next step so here we can have the labeling of b0 and c0 into the image sample as per the steps we have discussed now this is the next figure that is figure c so here you can see as per the next step the representation of small b and small c still you can see the count of ones into the image sample now this is the next figure figure d here with some changes and lastly the figure e so this figure e is supposed to give us the output of boundary following algorithm to examine the need of the stopping rule as stated into the last step that is step number 5 of this algorithm we consider the boundary into the next figure the segment onto the upper side of the boundary could arise for example from incomplete spur removal so starting at the topmost leftmost point results into the steps as shown to us so now the illustration of the erroneous result when the stopping rule such that the boundary following stops when the starting point b0 is encountered again so here we have the next figure a so after next figure a we visualize here next figure b so the positions of the c0 and b0 you can visualize into this figure b and lastly here we have the figure c representation so the small c the small b the directions that we can notice into this image sample so we see in this last figure that is figure c actually that the algorithm has returned to that of the starting point so the indication is there with the help of a an arrow here now if the procedure were stopped because we have reached the starting point again it is evident that the rest of the boundary would not be found using the stopping rule into the last step that is step number 5 it allows the algorithm to continue and it is a simple matter to show the entire boundary into the figure would be found the boundary following algorithm that we have seen works equally well if the region rather than its boundary is given to us that is the procedure extracts the other boundary of the binary region now if the objective is to find the boundaries of holes in a region that are called as the inner boundaries a simple approach is to extract the holes and treat them as one valued regions onto the background of zeros applying the boundary following algorithm to these regions will yield the inner boundaries of the original region now we could have stated the algorithm just as easily based on to the following a boundary into the counterclockwise direction also in fact one will encounter the algorithms formulated onto the assumption that the boundary points are ordered in that particular direction we use here both the directions interchangeably but consistently in the following sections that are the subsequent videos of this chapter that is chapter number 12 to help one build the familiarity with the both approaches we discussed so i hope you have understood the details of the boundary following algorithm which is the simple one and the first topic to start this chapter representation and description with respect to the regions that we obtain as outcome of segmentation by the next lecture we shall be addressing the second topic of this chapter and it is a type of coding the title we can give at chain codes so let us see the details of chain codes into the next video i am sure that you are definitely benefited with the knowledge of digital image processing subject with respect to various concepts various practical sessions using the matlab software and the practice of miscellaneous problems for more information if you like to want you can definitely subscribe to our ekda channel thank you